are focusing on a game called Dead Fish. Sounds pretty violent, but it's actually a really good time and it helps get that much needed silence in the classroom with a little bit of a laugh. Now, the aim of Dead Fish is to get students to focus, listen, and working together. The age range is 5 to 105, the materials needed, relatively open space. The time length on this game is about 15 minutes, and you're going to want to play with six or more students. Now, the rules of Dead Fish are relatively easy. I call out something for you to become. You use your body and your imagination to become that. Notice I did not use voice. This is a body and imagination focus game and at any time that I yell out dead fish you have to become a dead fish you drop to the ground you don't move and you are absolutely silent if I see you move or make a sound other than bodily functions you are out of there And what's great about this game is, again, you can level up and you level up into teaching them about teamwork so the game starts out with just one person becoming their own creature in that moment, right? When you level up, then you get them into groups of two and you say, okay, using both people's bodies, you must become the creature that I say. So if I say lizard, you've got to use both people's body to become the lizard. So they start out in groups of two, you level up again, having two groups, having the groups of two merge into groups of four, then you can level up again to having those um, groups of four go into groups of six. You can call this scaffolding. And what's great is they're working together to become one thing. They've got to negotiate. They've got to figure it out. You also want to make sure you give them a time limit. So I'll say, all right, you're in groups of four. You're going to become a lizard by the time I count to 10, 10, 9, 8, 7. And you see them scrambling and putting it together. If they aren't able to do it as a group, then that group is out of there. And you have them do it without talking, so they can only communicate with each other with body language. If they're unable to do that, then they are out of there. So with these level ups, you're helping expand their skills of communication, working together, negotiating, and creating. This game is a great starter for when you're about to go into writing a play or doing some ensemble work because it's telling them and or it's teaching students to rely on the other person, to trust the other person, to work with the other person towards the common goal. Let's see an example. This is an example of Dead Fish Level 1. All right, so you have to become anything that I ask you to become. The first thing I ask you to become is a tree. And a butterfly. Dead fish. Notice no sound, no movement, nothing. Only using our bodies and our imaginations. All right, dead fish, over. You can stand up. And become a carrot. and become a lizard. What about a frog? A snake. Dead fish. Nice, all right, now we are going to move into level two. I would like both of you to become partners and you are going to create one thing with both of your bodies. The first thing I would like you to create with your bodies is a cloud. And a tree. And a lizard. And dead fish. And that is an example of dead fish. <laughs>